David Orlikow. David Orlikow, April 20, 1918, January 19, 1998, was a Canadian politician and a long-serving member of the House of Commons of Canada. He represented the riding of Winnipeg North from 1962 to 1988 as a member of the New Democratic Party. Family Orlikow was the son of Louis Orlikow and Sarah Cherniak. His first cousin was Saul Cherniak, also a prominent Manitoba politician and a cabinet minister in the provincial government of Edward Schreyer. He was educated at the University of Manitoba and worked as a labor educator and pharmacist. Orlikow married Velma Valkane on June 1, 1946. They had one daughter, Leslie. His mother, Sarah, was first elected to the Winnipeg School Board as the school trustee for Ward 3 in 1925. Orlikow's cousin, Mindel Cherniak Sheps, succeeded her in the seat when she retired and held it until 1950 when her brother, Saul Cherniak, was elected. Orlikow's brother, Lionel, was also a trustee on the Winnipeg School Board from 1988 to 1998. When Lionel Orlikow retired, he was succeeded by his son, John, now a Winnipeg City Councillor. Municipal Politics he served as a trustee on the Winnipeg School Board from 1945 to 1951 and was an alderman in the city of Winnipeg from 1951 to 1959. He also served on the board of directors for Winnipeg's John Howard and Elizabeth Fry Society from 1958 to 1961 and was a board member of the Welfare Council of Greater Winnipeg in 1958. Orlikow was also involved with the Jewish Labor Society and the Canadian Labor Congress. He helped to organize a steel workers' union in the northern Manitoba town of Thompson after INCO set up operations in the area. Other organizations of which Orlikow was involved included the Union Center and the Manitoba Society of Seniors. Orlikow was a founding member of the NDP and a lifetime member of the CCF NDP. In 1961, Orlikow took part in Manitoba CCF transition to the new Democratic Party. Manitoba Legislature In the provincial election of 1958, Orlikow was elected to the Legislative Assembly of Manitoba for the Cooperative Commonwealth Federation in the North End Winnipeg constituency of St. John's. He defeated his progressive conservative and liberal progressive opponents by a significant margin. He was re-elected in the 1959 election by the reduced margin of 251 votes over progressive conservative opponent Dan Zaharia. David Orlikow was an NDP MLA from June 16, 1958 to May 1962. Orlikow maintained an interest in the Manitoba NDP after switching to federal politics. In 1968 minus 69, he helped facilitate the party's transition of leadership from Russell Pauley to Edward Schreyer. The Manitoba legislature paid tribute to Orlikow on Thursday, June 25, 1998. Judy wasilisia Lays, whose riding, both as an MLA and an MP, included much of the area earlier represented by Orlikow, recalled the advice and information she used to receive from Orlikow and his many phone calls. Wasilisia Lays' provincial counterparts in DP MLA Dave Chomiak and Doug Martindale also admitted to being among those on the receiving end of those phone calls. According to Doug Martindale, Orlikow never really retired from politics in that Orlikow was always researching various issues and providing the information he gathered to various Manitoba in DP MLA and MP. Orlikow was a frequent visitor to the Manitoba Legislature's library and even when hospitalized, he managed to transform his hospital room into a mini-office. During the last week of his life, Orlikow was researching the financial impact of smoking on the health care system and what types of lawsuits he figured the federal and provincial governments should launch against the tobacco industry to recover some of the cost. Federal Politics Orlikow resigned his legislative seat in May 1962 to run for the Canadian House of Commons. He was elected in Winnipeg North in the federal election of 1962, defeating Liberal Paul Parishin by just under 4,000 votes. 
He defeated Parishin again by a narrower margin in the 1963 election, but increased his majority to nearly 10,000 votes in the election of 1965. He came close to losing his seat in the Trudomania election of 1968, defeating liberal Cecil Sanchitian by only 963 votes. After this, he was returned by safe majorities in the elections of 1972 and 1974, 1979, 1980, and 1984. There was a provincial swing against the NDP in the federal election of 1988 and Orlikow unexpectedly lost the Winnipeg North riding to Liberal Ray Pactacon by fewer than 2,000 votes. After a 26-year career in the Commons, Orlikow was genuinely surprised by the result. Orlikow was an NDP MP from June 18, 1962, to November 21, 1988. Throughout his career, Orlikow fought for progressive policies in fields such as immigration, refugees, social justice, and labor. During the 1980s, he sought reforms to Canada's Bank Act, which would have required banks to invest a portion of their money in local development projects. In the very last week of his life, he was researching ways for the federal and provincial governments to recover monies from tobacco companies for the social costs of cigarette use. After his death in January 1998, Former staffer Dan O'Connor wrote the following eulogy. David was always on the side of the ordinary person. He was relentless in the pursuit of justice from big government or big business. The most important job in his office was the individual case work, and he didn't trust it to anyone else. He made every phone call and wrote every letter. The Canadian House of Commons paid tribute to Orlikow on February. Suing the CIA, during the 1950s, Velma Orlikow was a patient at the Allen Memorial Institute in Montreal at a time when the American Central Intelligence Agency was conducting its Imcultra brainwashing experiments at the facility. She was unwittingly dosed with LSD and was exposed to brainwashing tapes. Along with eight other former patients, she later sued the CIA for mistreatment and won. Early in 1979, Orlikow called Office of Lawyers Joseph Roth and Jim Turner after reading New York Times' story concerning CIA involvement in Ewan Cameron's research. The Tuesday, August 2, 1977 story, written by Nicholas Horrock, was entitled Private Institutions Used in CIA Effort to Control Behavior. Horrock's article referred to the work of John Marx, whose documentation of CIA activities obtained under the Freedom of Information Act, was used in what was to be referred to as the Orlikow et al. v. United States case. The other plaintiffs eventually included Jean Charles Page, Robert Logi, Rita Zimmerman, Louis Weinstein, Janine Heward, Livia Stadler, Mary Morrow, and Mrs. Florence Langleben. The CIA settled in 1988. Velma died in 1990. Near the end of his life, David Orlikow encouraged NDP MP such as Sven Robinson to seek government compensation for the Allen Institute's victims and for their families.